Well, greetings and salutations, my friend. Welcome back, all of you, my friends. Welcome back to some more Stardew Valley Challenge Farm. We got some good humor spirits, which is fun to see. We know how to make stir fry, and the weather tomorrow is going to be clear and sunny, but that doesn't matter because our lovely and amazing and super great watering can is already in for upgrades. That's right. We have made some hot pepper jelly, which, I mean, why wouldn't you? The radishes are done. It's another four spots. Do we want to replant anything? You know, I guess we could... Uh, it, al it almost feels like a waste to do those, though. So let's... We, uh, we can for sure get more of these. So let's... One there. One there. What's it? We need a grape. One grape. Okay, let's let's just fill in those spots with some more mixed seed, uh, mixed seeds, uh, with some more glorious summer seeds, and we'll go from there. Cool. All right, this needs to go to the community center, and we need to go see Marnie as soon as Marnie decides to be open. Have we found the chicken statue? Have we turned you in? Yes. Okay. All right, let's go look for mixed seeds over here. We will find some. And then I think we'll have to go wait for Marnie to open so we can get some... Get some... Get a milk bucket. Because obviously that's what we need in life. Oh, we got a bonus mixed seed there just from a random bush. Very good. Okay, there's another one. Um, I think that's all that there is today. I don't see any other... See any other uh, bushes that are ready? Check the cave. Nothing. As per the usual. Alright. Alright. I got some stuff growing. Got a nice pine tar there. I mean, who doesn't like a good pine tar? You know what I'm saying? Alright. Stagger it every other as one does. Our, f our farm is growing over here. Our, our forestry efforts are bearing fruit. Let's see what's over here. All right, so we need we need some tree tappers on all those trees. Let's just make like four or five for now. We'll just throw them down there and get that going. Okay, so we need some wood. And we need some copper. And we need some tree taps. I think there's something else we need in that recipe. Nope, that's all we need. Let's do four. And we're out of wood. Alright, we might have to... Might have to spend the day... Going after wood, honestly. Um, I would like to go to the mines, but... It seems like we are just going to need the wood. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's not terrible. I don't mind that. Uh, it just, uh, just says how it is. All right, so let's see. One on you. One on you. One for you. And one for you. All right. We will let you be until you've produced something for us. And then... We'll kind of try to organize over here a little bit at some point so we can have all of our all of our tree tapping in the same location. Let's get in here, grab our buckets. Uh, yes, I would like a bucket. Thank you. Appreciate you. Okay, and we need to upgrade. We need to upgrade our buildings, but we can't do that yet because we're out of wood. Um, we're going to walk back down here in a minute. We're going to go take care of the animals to make sure that we get that done. And then we'll go, we'll go chop down trees. That's my plan. All right, time to get rid of some stumps over here. 
so I don't have to check this side as much. Now I'm thinking it I'm thinking eventually we'll move the animals down here maybe or this is where we'll build our sheds. Um, I'm thinking the animals though because I would like the sheds up here, I think. We're not going to have a ton of sheds really I don't, I don't think in this run, but all sorts of amazing eggs. Thank you so much, chickens, for your hard work. Appreciate you. One and a half hearts. Okay. Chickens are doing well. How are the cows today? How are, how are you all doing? You know what? Here. This probably will really help you feel better about life. There you go. Did that help? Do you feel better now, cows? I hope that you do. We're going to save the milk, I think, until we can make cheese. I just think that'll be more useful. The problem is, is where do we save it? I, I think we're just going to put it in there. Okay. Time to go chop down some trees. Got this. I believe. Uh, can we make... I don't see it. Okay. Nope. But we should be able to soon. We need to get... I think it's foraging. We can raise our foraging enough. We should be able to get... We're going to get hardwood first, by the way. We need the foraging. Um, we should be able to get uh, tree fertilizer. And once we get that, it's going to be a little bit easier to get some trees up and going. Because we'll just fertilize what we need. And then they grow a lot faster. I always love it in the secret woods here too. You can just wander around and like just randomly ambushed by slimes. It just makes me laugh. Oops, wrong one. Wrong one again. This is also a good place to go if you ever need green slimes for a challenge thing, like a request from the city board or whatever. Just come on over here. Green slimes are here. Or just slimes in general, you know. Uh, sometimes it's red slimes, though, and you have to go to the bottom of the mines for that, but... Just depends on what it is on the board. Lots of fiddlehead ferns today. Now, uh, what is it? Each stump is like 12 XP or something, isn't it? Or 20? Or I, I don't remember the numbers. It's more than a normal tree. That's all I know. And, and cutting down a tree is worth way more than a stump. Um, so, like, actually cutting down the tree and leaving the stump early in the game on your farm is the best thing you can do because the stump will still make seeds and the stump itself is only worth, like, a couple experience to chop down. All right, so we have been through here recently, as you can tell, by the lack of full-grown trees in some places. But there's still plenty more to do. We will make sure to do it. We will get it done. I don't think there's enough chance that we can get this done so that we can go and upgrade one of our buildings um, today. But it is worth a thought. Do we maybe try to upgrade the coop and try to get to ducks? Because ducks also make eggs and you can turn it into mayonnaise. And we already have some mayonnaise machines. So it's something to consider for sure. Rainy days in Stardew Valley in the summer are probably one of my favorite things in the whole game. I mean, first of all, I find rain to be very relaxing. It's raining actually here at the house today, like in real life. As I record this, it's like, it's rain-ception. It's raining while raining. It's a good time. Um, anyway, but yeah, no, I, I love I love thunderstorm days in, in the game. A lot of fun. I almost missed that. I walked right by it. Our library's been expanded, which is excellent. We're going to get a lot of uh, pine cones and maple seeds and stuff from doing this. 
We're going to use the rest of our trail snacks here in just a second. And uh, power up, as it were, our energy levels. So we can continue chopping wood over to the right. Alright, time to enjoy these field snacks, trail snacks, whatever they're called. I can't imagine... I mean, look. Um, has anybody... <laughs> I don't, I don't even know. Is that like a real thing made out of tree seeds, essentially? Is that, is that something that people actually eat? Is that a thing? I also want to know who the first person was who decided, Hey, let's stab this tree and then boil it and then see how that tastes. Like, what? Who... Who thought that would be an idea? Like, how hungry were people? You know? Like, you know what? Maybe we should drink this tree's blood. I'm sure it'll be great. <laughs> Who does that? Like, have we tried that with apple trees? I don't know. Do they have sap? I, I don't know. Not sure. Like, that's another thing, too, right? Because, like, I, I smoke food sometimes, you know? Like, uh, ribs and stuff. I, pecan wood's my favorite. Pecan and apple. Um, I, I like it better than, like, hickory or mesquite. Not that those are bad. I just prefer the sweeter ones, I guess. Alright, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. We have six more trees down here. Like another 120 wood. Like we have 500 wood now, which is great. That will be enough to do some building upgrades. Um, so that's good. Yeah. We can do a building upgrade. Now, what building do we upgrade? Uh, again, I think we should do the coop first. We don't even have the recipe to make a cheese press yet, so... You know, doing that one's probably not the most beneficial, is what I'm saying. And then, of course, we'll still have to, you know, spend it. You know, let's just make it. Do we not have any? We don't have any maple? Oh, we don't have any acorns. Oh, okay. Well, we can certainly plant some of these. All right, here we go. Pine trees away. Oops, that was the wrong spot. There we are. All right, every other spot. Every other spot. There we go. Alright, every other spot. Beautiful. And then we're gonna get rid of this. Like that. Okay. There we go. Uh, we have a little bit of energy. We're starting to feel exhausted. Also, something just went... Shh. What did that hit? Did that lightning just take out a bush? A plant? What was that? How dare you, lightning, continue to smack into my items. How could you do this to me? <gasps> oh no, a mixseed! A mixseed, a, a summer seed. Oh no. Um, it's okay, we got this. We'll just put a new one there. <laughs> it's all good. It's fine. As long as it doesn't hit the ancient fruit, we're okay. We don't want that to happen. All right, to the community center. Let's go drop off this mushroom. And then, yeah, we're going to have to decide if we upgrade the pickaxe to gold so that it's a little easier. I mean, we do need to do that before we get over to Skull Caverns, but to unlock Skull Caverns, we still need another, like, $45,000 or whatever. Uh, so, you know... You know. All right. Somewhere. Here we go. Somewhere over here. There we are. Okay. That worked out well. I'm down with it. Now, one thing that you could do, if you ever wanted to make a bunch of tea saplings, by the way, 
You can use brown mushrooms in a seed maker to get fall seeds. So if you have the mushroom cave and you save up your brown mushrooms, you will be able to utilize those and you will be able to turn them uh, into, into fall seeds. And then what you can do is you can uh, just turn those into tea saplings and you just you make a ton more money. Um, so in case you ever, you know, wanted an alternate route to accomplishing that, it does exist. All right, we gotta we gotta clear this out up here. Oh, we're feeling exhausted. Oh man, look at that! Look at that energy bar, it's so low. Yeah, we gotta. Uh, maybe that's what we'll do tomorrow. Maybe we'll come up here and we'll. Clear the rest of this out. That might be a good use of our time. We can get some stones. We can get some wood. We need something to do while our coop is upgrading. All right, there are a lot of resources up here. Oh, we can't even get out this way. Oh my gosh! The game tried to trap us in. Do you see that? Locked us over there. Couldn't couldn't get away. Ooh, yes, more grapes. That's what we need. Give me all the grapes. Yes. Oh yeah, it's like another thirty seeds. <laughs> okay, that's very exciting. Oh man. Uh, here's the thing. We have to save all the rest of the grapes now, though, because we need to make them into, uh, into seeds later so that we can grow grapes. Goodness gracious. Go to sleep, yes. All right, we made, uh, all right, that's not bad. It's not bad. 130 for pepper jelly. Okay. I wonder what we have that might be worth more. So we try some pickled corn? We could try it. What do we got here? Very happy day. Okay. Summer is known for lightning storms. Yes, it is. Weather report tomorrow, clear and sunny. All right, so now we have to wait for Clint to open. That's all right. We did get batteries. Excellent. Not that we need them right away. Oh, yeah. There we go. Starfruit acquired. Very good. Okay. So we did get the starfruit. Our coffee beans are expanding. We need a scythe. Let's grab this. Get a couple more there. Not a lot. You know, just uh, just a little. And then uh, two more of you. Let's get those planted. Oh, maybe we can fit three or four. Never mind. Let's just grab all of them. Are we missing more spots here? Like, what is... Is that growing? Or did that get nuked? Did that get hit by the storm? I can't... I really can't tell. I think it did. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. That's okay. If, if it was, we're, we're behind like, what, a day? It's no big deal. We can handle being behind by a day. Got a hay in the silo. Got a milk bucket in our hands. It's a good day. Say hello to all of our friends. Don't milk the chicken. That would be wrong. If you're trying to milk a chicken, it's just not going to go well for you. Let's just grab out two. And then we can just carry it with us to the other one. Just like that. Then just put it back. Alrighty. Eight o'clock in the morning and all is well. 
We have six of those. All right, let's just check how we're doing. We don't have a lot of corn, though. We really don't. Um, we have more peppers than we do corn. I guess we'll just do another batch of peppers. Again, we need to save as much as we can in some respects to get... To get seeds, once we finally hit level 9 farming, may that come to pass before winter time hits us. Although, I don't know that that's realistic at this point, but we'll see. We'll certainly try our best. Right, grab the hardwood. Alright, now, do we sell some items, some, like, milk and stuff just to get a little more money? Or do we wait for the... Ooh, a pomegranate. Okay. Now, we do need that at the community center. So that is exciting. Yes, now we just need apples, basically. Give me your apples. Do we need a battery at the community center? Hold up. Is a battery a thing that you need? I don't think it is. Uh, all right. Obviously, none of those things we have. Uh, nope. Don't have those. Don't have those. Don't have those. Don't have that. Okay. Next. All right. Don't have those. Don't have that. Okay. Next. Uh, those are both fall fish. Okay. I think. Tiger trout. Let me just. Let me just double check here. Tiger. A tiger trout. You are in the fall, aren't you? Yes. Fall and winter. Perfect. Okay. And the walleye we know is in the fall also. Okay. Alright. And let's see. Money. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Crafts. Pantry. Bulletin board. Here's what we need. Okay. So we need a wine. An oak resin. A foot. Nautilus shell. Okay, I think we're, I think we're all right. Just keep an eye on things. Plums go in there. Didn't we have plums over here? I think we did. Get those, get those out of here. Put them over here where they go. All right, all right. put that away. Put that away. Put this away. We need to grab our stone and we need to grab our wood. Right, blackberries are in the fall also. Actually, no, we don't need that. Okay. Alright, so we need to go over to Robin's. We need to go over to Clint's. Because we need the watering can. Hey, we got a book. Go us. And we have to go to community center. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start in the north. We're going to go to Robbins, go to the community center, walk down to Clint's, and then we're going to teleport back over to the house. Wait, Linus is only at one. Ooh, Linus. We got to become better friends. I missed your birthday, didn't I? Feels bad, man. And, of course, you're not here because it's Thursday. Why would you be there on a day that I want you to be there, Robin? You're never there on a day I want you to be there. Tuesday, Thursday, you're not there. And I know that. And I forget it, like, every time I play this game. And then every time I want to build something on a Thursday, I'm like, yes, let's go do this. And then you, Robin's not there on Thursdays. He'll hum, you know this. I failed. I failed you all. I'm so sorry. On the upside, uh, we did get a pomegranate, so... That's nice. <laughs> Always look on the bright side of life. That's right. That's what I try and do. Even when you do something stupid. <laughs> it's fine. Just roll with it. It's no big deal. Everyone does it. Not everybody records it and puts it on the internet, but everyone does it. Oh, man. That's funny. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, I guess we'll get around to that in the next episode. Got our watering can. It is now steel. Very exciting. 
yeah, yeah, to the bus stop. I don't think there's any ever, f any, any, any ever, oh my gosh. I don't think there's ever any forage on the lower part outside of berry season. When it's berry season, there is, but otherwise, no. Oh, look at how great this is. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. That is excellent. And, conveniently, I was smart enough to do that one by five. And, uh, five and then three. Look at this. Look at this mathematic accidentalness that we have done. That's great. Oh, we can water so many more crops now. That's going to be super important come the fall because if we don't have sprinklers... Oh, boy. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough times. Oh, we're out of water. We can water most of our crops without having to refill. Okay. That's pretty great. And a little bit there. And a little bit. And a little bit. And a little bit of watering can. Very exciting. Okay, well, I guess we just have to put all this stuff away then because we can't can't use it. Now, do we cut down more trees today or or do we go to the mines? And I think the answer is going to be the mines. Um I need more iron in a bad bad way. So let's go get let's go get iron. We're going to focus on getting iron and also uh fighting dust sprites. Okay. Here we go. Like 10 hours of mine time. Here we go. You know what? No, we can't. Yes. No. Yes. No. It's going to be like eight hours by the time we get there. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to be smarter about this than I usually am. Having looked at how much energy I don't have left. And we're going to go walk around this way. We're going to go up to the spa. We're going to jump in the spa for a hot minute. Uh, refill some energy and then go over to the mines and try and get more iron. That's that's what we're going to do. The only downside is that I think bringing the axe would have been smart because there's some wood in the way over here. But we can just break this rock. There we go. Lovely. Alright, was that Seb hanging out up here? Is that who I just saw over there? Alright, so we entered at 310. Let's just see how long this takes. I'm going to guess until five. That's going to be my guess. About five. I mean, it does refill pretty quickly when your energy is not, you know, super, like a super huge amount. I wonder, can I show this? Look at that. Like, it does go up pretty quick. not bad at all, really, if you stop and think about it. The only downside is that you walk so slowly when you come in the building. Um, like this part right here, where you're just very, very slowly walking, is the part that annoys me. And that's why I don't like it. You know, if it was just like a outdoor spa or something, and you just like walk up and press A and just be in it, and you didn't have to walk through like, you know, the extra double screens or whatever would be much more useful to me. All right, let's go check out this artifact spot. Maybe we can find something useful here. We got a book. I'll take a book. Eventually, we'll run out of books to find, and that'll be great. Let's just clear off some of these rocks because they annoy me. All right, cool. Let's say hi to Seb. Hey, Seb, how are you? Definitely don't want to go swimming, if that's what you're going to ask. Oh, you just stopped to say hi? Sorry. You don't want to go swimming. It's a real shame. I love swimming. It's one of my favorite activities in the summer. If I had a pool, I would be in it every day. Unless it was raining. In which case, I wouldn't. But, you know, otherwise... Otherwise, I would. Okay. And we need to go to, what, 45-ish? 
And we just have to look for our good friends, the dust sprites, and also iron. Break that. No, okay. Let's try 55. 55 is where I usually grind the dust sprites. Let's see, there's a couple. On the upside here, those slimes don't have as much health as the red ones. Yes, here's some friends. And the, uh, the extra bonus upside to the dust sprites is that, uh, on occasion, they will also drop for you uh, the super useful and helpful coal. So, there we go. There's one. There's two. Three. Look at that. Three for three there. Aw, oh, four. What a beautiful floor. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon. Excuse me. Yes, thank you. I saw the iron. So yeah, so we don't have any goals really now. We're just chilling in the mines. Um, if you're doing this challenge on your own, by the way, and it comes down to the time to start doing this, this is what I would recommend. Just pop in on a YouTube video and just relaxing and enjoying yourself. Um, there's no pressure here, you know? It's just a fun little challenge to do and while you're out grinding resources, you know, you just hang out, find a, find a cool video or two to watch and... Uh, and enjoy that. I, I tend to turn on like some post 10. Uh, post 10 does a lot of like drain uncloggings and uh, nature videos and sort of do it yourself videos. Uh, super nice, uh, fun channel there. Or sometimes I save up some Ghost Town Living videos. And uh, I haven't watched Brent's latest on like the the washout of the road after the, the giant storm went through. I haven't, I haven't watched that one. I saw it was there, I just haven't taken the time to watch it yet, but I will soon. That's another channel that I enjoy watching. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Like These are like unofficial Hill Home recommendations. Um, cooking channel, Sip and Feast, has a lot of really great recipes. Uh, I've tried several of them, they've all been delicious. And uh, definitely recommend that channel. That, and he's really fun too. Those are the channels I watch in my free time. Or Christopher Odd. Christopher Odd is another big one that I watch a lot when I'm when I have free time. He just does less. He does let's plays, a lot of tactical games, strategy games like uh, uh, XCOM and stuff. He does a lot, a lot more other games now. Um, but when he started, it was a lot of just like strategy, tactical games. I'm not sure how I had not gotten that satchel previously, but hey. Here we are. Okay. Uh, we are on the spiral floor. Oh, we got a staircase. Doesn't matter. Moving on. So that's what I mean. Like, So sometimes I, I go back and forth to levels. Sometimes I just keep going. And just see what lies in store. Because this whole area has dust sprites. and Sometimes it's faster to keep going. Sometimes it's not. It just kind of depends, but since I'm also looking for iron, the more floors that you can check, you know, the, here we go, like, look at this, the better it works out, you know what I'm saying? We were so low on iron. We, we were, we were really low. Like we had, I think I had five iron ore left or something. It wasn't a lot really go for a couple bombs right about now just to blow this up. We're going to get hit by that bat. <laughs> Nothing I could do there. Like, I need the iron. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. And a staircase. Beautiful. Um, there's literally nothing on this floor. Wow, that's a great floor. Oh, we did get a bonus... Bonus ores and stuff. That's always good. It's 12 already, game. No. No, I'm having fun. I want to keep going. I don't want to be done. The end of the end of the day in the in the game is the end of the episode today, and I, it makes me sad. I just want to keep going. By the way, if you want to see the live uh, the live stream, the uh, the test streams, 
uh, for just me messing around trying out other random mixed seed related things. Uh, it is over on Twitch. We've been doing it the last, uh, I don't know, couple couple times I streamed. I'm thinking I might do that on the weekends, honestly. For a little bit. Uh, don't hold me to that, though, because I changed my mind a lot with the live stream, so... I don't want anyone to be like, but you said you were going to. Okay, I said I was thinking about. There's a... <laughs> hill hum thinking and hill hum doing are two different things a lot of times. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the bus stop. Here we go. Okay. So, how did we do? Well, we got 78 iron ore, which is pretty good. Uh, like how, much, how much did we have? We had 11. So, certainly we did well there. We have a couple more earth crystals. Okay. We did get more copper ore too, which is good. So we're down to eight. Uh, plenty of gold for now. So not that's not a concern. Uh, what else can we sell? We can sell some of those. We're going to sell some of these. Um, we're just going to sell, you know, like a couple. I want to have like a couple of every one, but I don't need, I don't really need more than that, honestly. Except for the jade. We're going to just hold on to all of the jade. Keep that. Uh, does this go in the... It does. We have another community center item, everybody. So that's exciting. We're going to sell all these gemstones. And apparently the tree sap. Now we're going to store We're gonna store the tree sap. Never fear. That is fertilizer fuel right there. All right. Sleeping time. Let's go. Alright, so what did we get? We got 3,500. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. <sighs> Alas, though, that was two days. That was two days. And, uh, and there we must leave it. But we do have back over 20,000, which is great. We're going to upgrade the coop. And, uh, and take it from there. We'll see how everything continues to develop. Things are looking pretty good, though. They could be a little better. I could have been a little more organized earlier on, but I think we're going to handle on it now. And uh, it's going to take off, monetarily speaking, uh, pretty soon. Looking forward to that. Thanks for hanging out with me, your host, Hill Home, in this silly challenge we're doing, the Mixed Seed Challenge. We'll see you next time. Take care.